Yet another legislative proposal is being introduced this week in Harrisburg to report to reform rather Penn State's Board of Trustees. And it comes from a familiar name in the state Senate who's been working on reforming the trustees for nearly two years. And now he's proposing a similar Board of Trustees for all of Pennsylvania's state related universities. For the latest on this story, you'll only see on six. Gary Sinderson is live in our Center County newsroom. Gary? Jen, the state related universities are Penn State, Pitt, Temple, and Lincoln. They are a factor in this latest reform proposal. And past proposals have focused more on downsizing the number of voting to members on the Board of Trustees. This is a compromise of sorts, and it comes as legislators in Harrisburg begin work on Penn State's annual funding appropriation from the state. The new proposal is once again from State Senator John Udichak, who feels the action taken by the Penn State trustees this past fall in adding more voting members may violate state laws regulating the trustees. Udichak asked the trustees to hold off on their vote. Now he's proposing a different makeup for the board. It would include 36 voting members, including some appointed by the governor and legislative leaders. Plus, Udichak proposes a similar trustee board makeup for all the state-related universities. Well, th this is a realization. Penn State's Penn State's complaint was that somehow Senator Udichak and the legislation, legis his proposed legislation, was singling out Penn State, and that was unfair. And if we're going to do this to Penn State, we need to do it to the other state related. Udichak is reportedly lining up votes in the state Senate. In the House, though, it could be a different story where there's been little interest or talk about trustee reform. But it is budget season in Harrisburg where university leaders are once again lobbying for more state funding. And I would suspect that uh, there might be some questions around this legislation posed to President Barron during the appropriation hearings. In a related note, there will only be three candidates in this year's election for alumni seats on the Penn State Board of Trustees. That was determined Monday afternoon with incumbents Lebrano and Ryan McCombie being two of the three candidates that you'll see on the ballot for alumni voting. And the third candidate is Robert Tribeck, so those three will be on the ballot for three open seats for alumni positions on the Board of Trustees. Those ballot positions were determined in about a minute this afternoon in Old Main. Three names is quite a surprise because in past years, especially after the Sandusky scandal, there were dozens of candidates. But this year, only three on the alumni ballot. Live in Center County, Gary Sanderson, 6 News.